What I'm sharing is a workflow for replacing materials. The first one is relatively simple. There is another one that is a little more complicated. Let's introduce the first one first. The first one is to use this call cell. Edit model. The prompt here is to write the material you want to modify. Then remove the mask from a picture uploader, here. Then it only replaces the area of this mask. For example, it says red leather case here. You will change. If you switch it to red, I pad after. Make. Jar. Next, I will disable it first. I will introduce the above later. This method requires drawing cards. He may not be so accurate every time. His disadvantage is that he needs to draw cards. It won't be accurate every time. The advantage is its details. Automatic optimization. You can try a few more times. Draw until you are satisfied. Maybe the glass material is more difficult for him, so... Leather Black Switching to leather was easy for him. There is a trick here, this mask. For example, here. I want to clear his mask. Because it would be more troublesome to cut out the picture, so you right-click on this prison. One is the same automatic selection. Left click to select what you want. Right click to select the red dot you don't want. Choose clearly what you want first. Then click this to generate automatic recognition. Then if you don't want this, right click to cancel and regenerate the parts you don't want. It's almost like this. Go to save. Then switch to this manual mode to edit. Hold down the L key. It's the other way around. Just clear it. Just a rough idea. No need to buckle to then.
This is the trick. Then without holding down the L key, just select the part you want. Probably choose it yourself. The other parts will lift to his own devices. This is basically OK. This way, you could easily replace the material. Of course, it is best to choose a little more accurately. All right, roughly means. That is, you can choose multiple. There will be problems if you choose to few. So this is also a drawback of his method. Let him identify this edge by himself. You can choose a little more. OK, the edge is a little better. If you are not satisfied, draw the curve. The second generated shortcoming is also that there's a problem with the edges. Here, I will briefly introduce how to use it. Just use prompt words to describe the material of this chair, same as below. Then here is extracted through a material. Material extraction by a pedactor. Give one here. Material map and this is automatic cutout. Cut out the subject. Submit to iPad of the separately. This is iPad after. Model. Just select this model. Then this is the style choice. This one is compared to the previous style. A transferred material. For a detailed introduction, I have all the notes here. Introduce this usage setting. Then cut out the picture. There are two types of cutouts here. The first is manual cutout. Here is automatic cutout. Give him a chair cue word. Let him dig out the chair automatically. But all he wanted from me was this cushion. So I need to apply it manually. Then press it to automatically use the subtraction. Of course, it also has additions. Subtract it out. This part one manually buckled. This is just a rough idea. Then through this control net line draft. Reference step map. Submit again to generate. Generate the side. This setting is also a feathering. The edge size shrinks. Usually the default is enough. Then there is a problem with this edge. But you can pass another. This workflow. Paint the edges with a mask. Then fix it. This effect is even more perfect. Compared to the one below, he is a little more controllable. I can control the materials and things more perfectly. So there are two options. Okay, 
来自高普外。